On this edition of Check 6 Aviation, straight from Oshkosh, we have an option for no breakers on the panel. And a lot more coming up. Welcome back to Check 6 Aviation, my friend. It has been, it's been a couple weeks, uh, but you know what? That's okay. Because, uh, we, you know, we, I think everyone understands that uh, we all lead busy lives, and I certainly am no exception. Oshkosh, the big dog in the room, a record-breaking attendance, and this year, I did a little bit something different. Normally, I roam around the, uh, the hangars and seeing what's new, and this year, not so much. Heck, I didn't even really attend the air show. I know, weird, huh? But uh, what I did do is I, I attended a lot of seminars and uh, forums and stuff like that. But I, that's not to say that I did not do any of the roaming around of the hangars. As a matter of fact, um, I got a line from a friend of mine out in uh, the Portland area, uh, the company that I should have checked out, and I did. I spoke with Vertical Power, and man, they got an awesome solution that I have not heard of before because it will save a lot of space on the panel. It will save a bit of weight because of lack of wires that aren't needed. Well, not as many. And also some built-in redundancies from what I understand, although I did not get a chance to ask them about that. I learned about the built-in redundancies from another YouTuber that actually spoke to the same people. And then after that, I've got an update from Avio, uh, Avio Engineering on their, uh, their Vegas tips. So stay tuned, it's coming right up. It's another hot year here. Oh boy. But uh, the the upgrades for the RV10, they're not slowing down at all. As a matter of fact, I am here with Peter from Vertical Power. And we've got something cool for you guys here. Imagine saving space on your instrument panel because you don't need breakers anymore to trip. Right? That's right. All right, so tell us how that's possible. So, uh, vertical power, so it's an electronic circuit breaker system. We have two versions here, the Pro and the Sport. And basically, it eliminates the need for your mechanical uh, circuit breaker. So it's all solid state technology. Fern is going through electronic components, and it's allowing you to configure uh, your devices as such. And I, it's not just for one specific make. I see you've got Level here, you've got Garmin here. Over there, you've got Dynon. So correct. Yes, we we go with a lot of different emphases. We also go with Grand Rapids, uh, MGL. Uh, the VPX allows for the flexibility. You can choose your own uh, interface, whatever emphasis you want. Uh, VPX. Okay, so so does this also save on wiring too? It does. Yes, it saves on wiring. Everything comes to a single point. You're not going to have to put a breaker to every single device that you're uh, completing in your system. So. It certainly does, yes, and it makes it a lot easier to wire, and it's much easier for troubleshooting as well. So less wire, less and more space on the panel, less components. Correct. Yes. Equals less weight. Correct. All right. So with the traditional breaker, I know you were talking to me off camera about this. With the traditional breaker, you get so much um, current moving through there, so much, so many amperages, uh, amp, amps that the circuit can no longer handle it, the tripper, the, the breaker trips. Yeah. How do you guys handle that? Yeah, so uh, everything is on site technology, so we have MOSFETs that continuously monitor how much current is going through your device, and with our configured application, you're able to download that off our website, and you're able to configure uh, the current uh, breaker value per device. So. The VPX is currently constantly monitoring that, and if it goes above the trip value, then the circuit it opens inside. And once it opens, it breaks the connection, and then you are able to uh, simply go on your EFIS, reset it virtually, and works just like it did in the beginning. 
All right, so if people, if my viewers are wanting to, you know, go ahead and check this out further, you know, how do we, how do they get in touch with you? So our web website is verticalpower.com. All the information is there. We got uh, information on pricing, on specifications for both the Pro and the Sport, and our PPS as well. We also got the operating manual, installation manual. All the information is there. So go ahead on our website. Also, uh, information there to give us a call or email us if you got any questions. All right, vertical power, folks. It'll be in the RV10. All right, last video I did on the on, uh, upgrades for the RV10. We, I'm back here with Damien, you remember him? We talked about the Vegas tips. Guess what? They are out, they are available, and they are, this is one of them right here. Notice, notice the rear light. Oh yeah, this thing is sweet. And this will light up the tail. Here's, here, you know what? Avio Engineering. I mean, 30, was it 30 miles? 30 nautical mile visibility. 304,000 candela. 30 nautical mile visibility. Three, how many candela? 304,000. 304,000 candela. I'm not even allowed power. to fire up the recognition light in here because of, uh, we don't want to get sued. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we don't know, want to blind anybody here, but. Yeah, yeah, Let, let's not blind anyone. I but mean, we have. The, uh, we have the 43 degree dispersion angle taxi. We have the 12 degree dispersion landing light. We have the uh, 30 nautical mile recognition light, which is also attached to the wigwag. So your taxi lights and your recognition light will wigwag left to right. So the tower will see you from a long, long, long ways out. Which is always a good thing. Always a good thing. Um, then we have our red and green position and we have our main strobe. Then we have the rear position, rear strobe, and there's a third feature this year. We're doing a, um, a rudder illumination light. So we'll have ground illumination for tying down your plane or checking control surfaces, checking tires, not slipping on ice. Um, so when you flip that switch, you'll have uh, wing tip to the propeller, wing tip to the tail, and then the rudder illumination for your logo um, all at the same time. So um, yeah, so yeah, you can come in looking like with the big birds. <laughs> Be looking like 747 in the holding pattern. That's right. The other thing is we just invested in 150,000 euro uh, autoclave. Um, so this thing is like a big pressurized oven. Uh, sucks every last drop of resin out. Um, we are laminating uh, structural Airex foam in between layers two and three of the laminate out of the four. So um, just way more stiff than a stock tip would be. Uh, plus you have the uh, bulkhead inner insert rib here that the lights mount to, which adds additional rigidity over stock. But um, just, just to be clear, the autoclave sucks, but these don't. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's a heck of a machine. And there's also a plate that comes in here that I just don't have on right now. Okay. Um, but uh, that's the uh, Zip Tip Vegas, and uh, it's, I'll be shipping these. I'm already taking deposits at the show. Uh, I'll be shipping these in October. Um, they are $44.50. That's for the pair. And these are going on my RV10. So, peace! <laughs> awesome information. But that's it for this video. Stay tuned for the next video that I post as the wind kicks up here. Uh, and we'll, we're, we're, we're just getting back to the build. We're gonna finish up this vertical stabilizer and yeah, you'll see all that later. And then the following vi yeah, video set that, after, that comes after that, will be all about the rudder. I can't wait to get back in here, start creating more content for you guys. Well, and also for me too, because, well, you know, I'm gonna be the one flying it. And who knows, by the time October comes around, about, you know, by the time Halloween comes, I might have some really good news concerning Southwest De Destination 225 Degree Program. So until next time, remember this time, and always check your six. Peace.